Let's write 2.5% as a fraction, a decimal, and a ratio. So write off 2.5, and we have percent here. That means over 100. So we could just put this over 100. And then we'll get rid of the percent sign. So we have 2.5 over 100. That's our fraction. But let's get this to a whole number. We could just move the decimal one place here, as long as down here we move the decimal one place as well. So just adding a zero here. So we end up with 25 over 1,000. 25 over 1,000, that's our fraction. So we can simplify the fraction 25 over 1,000 because 25 goes into 25 and it goes into 1,000 evenly. 25 goes into 100 four times, so it would go into 1,000 40 times. So we have 40 and then 25 divided by 25 is 1. We end up with the fraction 1 40th for 25 over 1,000, and that was our 2.5%. If we want to write it as a decimal, let's start out with 25 here, and we're just dividing 25 by 1,000. We could divide 1 by 40. Probably easier to do this, though. So if we divide 25 by 1,000, essentially what we're doing is we have our decimal point here in the 0. We're just moving this 1, 2, 3 places, 1, 2, three places. We'll put our zero in. Let's put a zero in front. And we end up with 0 0.025. That's our decimal for 2.5%. And then if we wanted to get a ratio, finally, we could just say 1 to 40. That's in simplest terms, so it's probably better just to say 1 to 40 is our ratio there. So we've taken 2.5%, put it in a fraction, a decimal, and a ratio. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.